Nine Springs is just on the edge of Yeovil in Somerset. It's a peaceful, picturesque park that offers an escape from the hustle and bustle of urban life. It's a wonderful spot for a picnic, to reconnect with nature, or stroll along the old railway track that ran from Penn Mill Station to Yeovil Town in Henford. The railway is long gone, but there is still some of the history of the line to remember. Yeovil has two main stations that are still very popular and well used. Yeovil Penn Mill is on the Weymouth and Gloucester via Bristol Temple Meads line, and Yeovil Junction is on the Exeter to Waterloo line. Before the days of Dr. Beeching, Yeovil had four stations serving the town. Penn Mill and Junction are still there, but there was also Yeovil Town and Henford, and then later Henford Halt. Penford was the original terminus for the Yeovil to Dunstan and Taunton Railway. It was the first station to be built and completed in Yeovil. Construction on the station started in 1847 and was completed when the line was opened in October of 1853 by the Bristol and Exeter Railway. As the Durston to Yeovil Railway was being built, the Wilts, Somerset and Weymouth Railway was constructing a line from Frome to Weymouth that would also pass through Yeovil. Because of this, the Bristol and Exeter extended the line to the newly built Penn Mill. In 1857, the Frome to Yeovil line was opened, as was the extension from Henford to Penn Mill. Less than four years after Henford opened, it was relegated to a goods depot in 1861, when another station was built on the short extension, Yeovil Town. Henford Station was a simple construction as seen in this photo. When the station was closed to passengers, the building was converted to four-legged animals and was used for stabling horses. Later it was listed as a transport workshop until the line was closed and the building was sadly demolished in the 1960s. The site today is a retail store and car park. You can still see the wall leading up to the Iron Bridge which is no longer in use. Behind that is the road for Henford Hill. Only vague memories of the line remain on the walkway which leads into Nine Springs. Looking at an Ordnance Survey map from 1892, you can see the placement of the station on the railway line. Here is Lysander Road and Henford Hill, which is still very well known in the area today. The goods depot ran along where Lysander Road is now, as far up as where Horsey Lane met Henford Hill. On this map, you can clearly see there were two timber yards, storehouses, cattle pens, a storage area and cranes, a goods depot, and two weighing machines. The further side of the depot is now a building merchant's. It's nice to see that the timber yard is still being used as a timber yard. Also, one of the storage buildings is in the same situ as the previous buildings. They must have been updated over the years, but a good location is a good location. Henford stayed as a good yard and the surrounding area started to turn into an industrial suburb of the town. So much so, a new passenger stop was added in May of 1932, Henford Halt. That was just a little west of where the main station used to be. Again, the halt was very simple, with a signal box on one side and a platform on the opposite side. Going over the line was Horse Lane Bridge, which led to Rusty Well, just south of the station. This photo, taken on the 28th of August 1948, shows the 9.50am Yeovil Penn Mill to Taunton train heading west towards the next station, which was Montacute. On the left-hand side, in the siding, is one of the Taunton to Yeovil freight trains waiting patiently. Just behind the steam, you can see the siding for Henford Stoneworks. Standing on the bridge, but this time looking east towards Penn Mill, this time in August of 1961, we can see the siding lines taking off to the left to the goods depot. Just in the background was where the old passenger station was. The track is now the entrance to Nine Springs and you can walk or cycle all the way to Penn Mill. 
This photo was taken on the 13th of June 1964. It shows a number 4593 working the line at 12.37pm from Penn Mill. This was the last day of passenger traffic. The once busy depot handled almost every type of merchandise, but the traffic dwindled and the yard was finally closed on the 9th of October 1967. You can just about make out where Henford Station once stood, but it's very overgrown. The halt has been completely demolished, as has Horse Lane Bridge. Fate, it seems, is not without a sense of irony. Where Henford Halt once stood now stands a petrol station for a local supermarket. At one time, possibly hundreds of passengers would have disembarked at this location, ready for a day's work, only to catch the train home again. Now, hundreds of people stop and fill their polluting, traffic jam-causing cars. It is a shame to see how the railway lines, like the one from Yeovil to Taunton, were taken away because of spreadsheets and accountants trying to save money. Even though Yeovil is fortunate to still have two stations, the thought of the ones that is lost is still sad. We certainly thank the locals and other train enthusiasts who have taken the time to take photos to preserve their memories. I'm currently working on a video of the Yeovil to Dunstan and Taunton Railway, and I'm on the lookout for old movie footage, photos, or interesting stories that you might have about the line. I would love to hear from you. If you want to remember the old railway, you can still head to Nine Springs in Yeovil and walk some of the line and reminisce about the golden age of steam. Archive Films is constantly on the lookout for its next documentary celebrating the golden age of steam or trains of the past, and we need your help. If you have any old movie footage from the trains of yesteryear, please reach out to us. Preserve the magic of steam trains for generations to come. Please feel free to contact us via our website. Thank you.